Slippery Rock may have just won four games last year, but they were in a tough region, and one of their wins was a playoff win over Harbor Creek before falling to Sharon in the D10 semifinals. The Rockets will have to replace several players lost to graduation, including Rod Williams at linebacker, Luke Brandon at linebacker, Seth Slater running back and linebacker, and Hunter Prementine at running back and defensive back. Quarterbacks Jacob Schaefer and Vito Pelosi are both back, along with running back Caleb Cameron, who could take over as the feature back this year. Patrick Shea is back at wide receiver and defensive back, while Nathan Hyatt is back at wide receiver and defensive back, David Duffalo is back at linebacker, and there are several linemen returning, including Sean Northcutt, Mitchell Houston, and Ryan Broad. Slippery Rock's in a brutal region with Hickory, Sharon, Conneaut, and Grove City. The Rockets have some playmakers back and experience on offense, but they'll need more guys to step up and really come together if they want to compete for a region title and make a run in the playoffs. You get, you got to compete with who you get, and uh, you got to play who's on your schedule. And um, you know, we played Grove City last year, even though they weren't 3A. So uh, we we have a pretty good idea of that competition and how good they are. And uh, obviously, Conneaut's new to us, but uh, hearing the word of how good they are, you know, we got to play them. And uh, last year's the, the the our region, you know, you still had the Wilmingtons, you still had the Greenvilles, we still had those guys in it in the mix. So. It's going to be difficult. Yeah. I think the big one for us is up front. And, and I say that, you know, offensive line, we lose two or we lost two. And, uh, you know, one of them's playing D2 football and the other one was a three-year starter. I'm sorry, we lost three. And the other gentleman was a two-year starter. So we've got to do some things up front to be pretty good offensively. And defensively, we're kind of young uh, with the outside linebacker position. So. Um, we'll need to do some things there to, to see what happens. Uh, I, I think we just gotta we gotta compete the right way, and um, you know we're using some phrases that uh, we're trying to get them to understand. You, you gotta buy in and believe in, in your buddy next door, and uh, if you're buying in and believing in your buddy next door, then you better make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do. And uh, our slogan on our shirt says "Do your job," and that's what we're telling our guys: you do your job, let your buddy do theirs and then we can see what happens moving forward. Uh, it's pretty important. I think all the positions are just as important. A lot, we don't pass too much. We usually end up passing more at the end of the game. Uh, we're going to have to do our assignments right and uh, trust each other. Um, I mean, quarterback is just another position. You know, if we all play as a team, you know, everybody has their own roles. So it's going to be just playing as a team. I don't, I don't think it's a single side. I think it's just playing as a team. You know, if we all do our job, then we get where we want to be. It's pretty important. I feel like our rushing attack is like that's what starts off, and then we get once the defense starts crashing on the rush, and then we can pass it to their heads. We just have to play as a team. We have to play as one. Defense and offense have to bring in each game, and we just have to step up and play with the swag. Um, I think defensively we we're pretty good last year, and offensively we had our like moments. And I think offensively we're we're there. We just have to make the right plays.